Guys and happy new year, <laughs> belated new year. Right, so as you're aware, most of my tutorials are aimed at um, singers, songwriters and vocalists and how to manipulate your vocals in Logic. Now, I think it's quite an important thing to also show you how to start building tracks so that you can maybe create a song around a melody that you've created in Logic. So I'm going to show you the very, very basics of how to start building a beat. So this will be split up into probably three parts because it's quite a lengthy process. Um, and then in the first um, part, which is now, I'm going to show you how to import an Apple loop and also how to add a drummer track. So this tutorial is really basically about building upon a track. So therefore, if you're an experienced uh, music producer, um, this is not a, tu a tutorial for you. This is just aimed at beginners, um, people that don't have a clue how to build tracks or where to start. And also just to show you how um, Logic has some amazing features really that can help you. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already got Logic open, but if we go to File and New, we're going to leave it where it says audio. It's already selected a number of tracks. One, we're not going to choose a drummer track, even though I did mention that we're going to add a drummer track because I want to show you a different way of actually implementing um, a drummer track on top of a loop that you've already found. So let's go to create. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is find an Apple loop that we like. So if you go to the top hand right of the screen and select on that Apple loop, then all of Logic's Apple loops will appear in this list. The great thing about Logic is that it has such a variety of sounds and instruments that you can manipulate. So even if you chose a loop here that you liked, or a single loop, or a software instrument that you liked, you can also manipulate the sound of it and make adjustments to it um, at a later stage. So in this instance, we are going to be looking for a piano sound. So to do that, you click on piano. Now, if you wanted to take it a step further and find a piano song, sorry, a piano loop, that's is a bit urban. So then you click on the urban. And if you want it to sound a bit dark, you can click dark. So now Logic has categorized some piano melodies that fit the criteria that you've selected. So let's just play the hip hop piano one and see how that sounds. So that's just an example. So it's now showing you that it's got 16 beats, the tempo is 80 and the key is G. Now, if you like any loops that you've listened to, you can always tick box where it's under the heart section and that will save it under your favorites for you. So it's a great thing that Logic also can do. So let's go and reset our list. So click on where it says reset here and then everything will appear again. So I don't want a dark sound, I don't want an urban sound, I just want a piano sound. So let's just go to piano. If you scroll down, you see the list of all the piano melodies, loops that Apple has available, as you can see here, loads. So what I'm going to do is just select one. Um, I think I've listened to this one before, I've got it ticked, so let's just play that. So the beauty of it is that you can click on it and listen to it before dragging it into the project. So let's just now add that. So you just literally click and drag and then that will appear here. Now what you can do next is loop the instrumental, because sorry, loop the loop, <laughs> because maybe you might want to use it throughout the song. So in this instance we're going to pretend that we're going to use it throughout the song. So let's just loop it to just track 33 in this. 33 so that's now looped so now let's just listen to that now so that's how the song's going to sound continuously looped now, the next thing I would want to do as a, a singer-songwriter or a producer, you will want to start thinking, right, 
Am I going to have an intro, to a long intro, short intro? Am I going to have um, a long verse, a short verse? So you might want to start making your arrangement from now. So what I tend to do is go to the arrangement, so I go to the global tracks icon, which is up here, and you want to show the global tracks, so click on that. And then you've got the arrangement track, marker track, signature, and tempo tracks appearing. So what we want to do is click on the plus sign next to arrangement. What that does is now it will start sectioning your track into intro, verse, chorus, etc. So press the plus button and already Logic has selected your intro section. Next, if you press uh, plus sign again, then you've got verse, plus sign again, we've got chorus. So I think let's just stop here for now. But what you can do, say for example, you use a person that likes a very long verse, and maybe you do a verse and a rise. So you might want to click on the chorus bit and change that to a verse. And so now you've got a longer verse section. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put that back to chorus, just so I can show you how the drummer will now fit in with that. So the next thing you want to do is add a drummer track. So let's go to track and new drummer track. So what Logic has done is straight away imported um, a drummer named Carl and he's a rock drummer and they've now aligned his sound to my melody as well as my arrangement. So let's play his sound. <laughs> So you get the gist. Now, me personally, I don't think rock really, that rock sound goes with the Argentine melody. So let's go and change the drummer. So to change the drummer, you go down to where it says rock and there's a drop down arrow. So if you press the drop down arrow here, now I think maybe I want to listen to a mm, songwriter. So go to songwriter and you'll see all the list of drummers that Logic has available under songwriter. So let's click on, I think it's Levi, and let's hear what Levi's got to offer. So as you can see, when I clicked on his name, this section adjusted because now it's adjusted the drum pattern that Levi has to the beat. So to do that, you just, as I said, you just choose a drummer, click on it, and it would automatically set out the arrangement for you. So let's play um, the songwriter Levi's drum pattern. Again, I'm not really happy about that song. So let's look for someone else. So I'm going to go into R&B. Let me see what Rose has to offer. So this is Rose. Now before I start playing how Rose sound will fit in with this melody, I just want to take you down to the section called presets. So below here is all the different sounds that Rose can play. So although right now she's on slow jam R&B, let's now just play that a bit of it. So as you can see, I really like this already. So what you can do though, is if you go down to her presets and press baby grand, now that will change the sound slightly. So let's listen to that now. That's how you would change all the sounds. Now I'm just going to take it back to um, Baby Grand. Um, actually, no, I like Common Cause. Let's go back to Common Cause because I think that was the best one. 
So that's a common cause. Now, what you can also do is if you go to the right here, you can see a list of different instruments. Now, if you click on that instrument, then that sound will then start playing in that drum pattern. So, for example, if I selected the trembling here, you can hear it now. And if I wanted to change the complexity of the sound, I can go to loud, simple, I want the sound softer or complex. So if I move this back down to soft now, the sound should sound a bit different. Basically, my point is if you move around with this and also select different sections of the percussion and the hi hat and the kick and the snare, you can also manipulate the sound that you've already got there. So, they're the two things that are really great about Logic. So, let's just go back to the beginning and I'm going to set this now to mm, the middle. So, not too complex, not too simple, not too soft, not too loud, straight in the middle. So, now let's hear the melody about the shaker, set it back to its original, let's bring in the music now. So that is part one of how to import an Apple loop and add a drummer track. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use all the fills, um, create a better drum pattern, um, and also take you to some other features that the drummer has to offer and how you can edit the sound of the drummer. So that would be in the next tutorial. And again, as I said, it probably would be three to four parts because it's such a complex um, thing to create beats in Logic, but I'm actually going to be showing the most basic way of making a beat, just so you can start getting a feel and hang of how to make beats in Logic. If you find this tutorial helpful, if you have any questions, just leave a comment or email me by my website, which is www.michellearthers.com. Thank you. Put my hands on my toes and let you play with my body, babe.